Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple lemon trifle. And for lemon trifle, you need a really delicious lemon curd. So make sure that you make your own. And if you follow this really easy recipe, it will be a piece of cake, so to speak. <laughs> or a piece of trifle. You have to juice two-thirds of a cup of lemon juice and you need a tablespoon of lemon zest for your lemon curd. So, of course, you're going to want to zest your lemon first before you juice it. I have most of my juice done. You can juice it through a sieve if you want to remove some of the bigger pieces of pulp and or seeds, but the truth is, is you strain your lemon curd later, so you don't really have to do this step in this particular instance, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> in a pot, off the heat, Combine a cup of sugar, the lemon zest, the lemon juice, eight egg yolks, and ten tablespoons of unsalted butter. Everything just goes right in the pot, you guys. It's so easy. There's no tempering or anything fancy. Stir together. And really what you want to do here is stir over medium heat until the whole mixture thickens. That should take about five minutes. You're wanting to see little bubbles around the edges, but you don't want like a full-on aggressive boil. So this is bubbling around the edges, and I do see a couple bubbles in the center. I'm taking it off and straining it. And it looks thin now, but it'll thicken up in the refrigerator. Any little bits of egg that got cooked will be strained out right now, and I did notice that there were a couple pieces of egg white that were attached to the yolk that did cook into little pieces, little egg white strands. You definitely don't want that in your lemon curd. You're also straining out the lemon zest at this point. If you like lemon zest in your curd, what I would suggest is make the curd and then stir the lemon zest in after you strain it, but I like my lemon curd to be nice and smooth, so I don't. You can put a piece of plastic wrap directly on the surface of this so that a skin doesn't form and then chill it until it's completely set. If you want it to cool more quickly, you can put it in an ice bath or you can pour it into a thinner layer. Just get it into the fridge. A couple hours will do. Here I have 10 lady fingers that I want to soak with a spirit of some kind. This is sherry. You could also use Sauternes or another sweet dessert wine. You just want to soften these guys up just a little bit. It says to drizzle with it, but I'm brushing it. I just feel like I have more control that way. You don't want them so, so saturated that they're completely soggy, and you're going to layer this with whipped cream and lemon curd, too, so I guess if you don't use it all, that's all right. Layer half of these into the bottom of whatever container you're using. It should be about two quarts. You can use a bowl. I'm using a trifle mold because it's cute. So you're going to just do half of your lady fingers in the bottom of your dish. However they fit in is fine. I'm going to break this just to get more coverage. Then you add a third of a cup of your lemon curd. If you want to see it, you got to get it towards the edges. If you don't care so much about seeing it, then don't worry about that. But if it's in the center, it will just disappear. Spread. And then whipped cream, which I realize I need to finish whipping. This is two cups of heavy cream that I am whipping with two tablespoons of confectioner's sugar. Whipped cream so much. I'm sure I've told you that before, but it's so delicious. It's one of my favorite, favorite things. Add half of the whipped cream. I'm eyeballing it. <laughs> I'm hoping my eyeballs work well. <laughs> it's not really an exact science. We write these recipes to be exact because we're writing recipes, but with something like a trifle, it kind of doesn't matter if it's exactly, exactly right. Then another third of a cup of lemon curd the rest of the whipped cream. It's like a dream dessert, right? Light, airy. And then the another third of a cup of lemon curd, and then you're done. You just refrigerate this for at least three hours and up to overnight. It's beautiful already, right? Give it three hours, though. Light and airy and delicious. Fuck. This is amazing. I'm so excited right now. I'll just start with this bowl and then I'll have seconds, but you guys won't get to see that, so it'll look like I'm being really restrained. <laughs> Bring it to all of your friends' parties and watch them swoon.